my name is Louisa Stewart Smith. I'm a regulation manager at Empower Business Solutions, and I'm here to give you a very brief overview of market wide half hourly settlement. Okay, next slide. Uh, the external program has been developing the design and planning delivery over the past two years and our internal program to deliver the changes as well underway. But there's a lot yet to still be completed and uh, but hopefully I can provide a summary of what it aims to achieve and what some of the changes and key uh, industry timings are. So market wide half hourly, it's a big change within the industry itself and it's going to enable participants within the industry to work together to significantly reform how electricity is generated, used and stored. We've all heard of net zero, we've talked about it today, and the market wide half hourly programme is seen as a key enabler that will help support the UK's transition to be new carbon neutral by enabling more accurate data about energy usage which could help you understand what you use and how you could cut cost, carbon and energy waste. It'll deliver a smarter and more flexible energy system. It will introduce new products and services that will be available in the future. And it will modernise the way energy participants interact with both the market and each other. Next slide. The metering world, or what does it mean for, for, for our customers? Um, the metering world, as we know it, will look very different in the next few years. So whether you already have a metering provider in place or one that has been appointed on your behalf, you will see some changes. The migration window for market wide half hourly starts in 2025 and ends in 2026. And at some point during this time, changes to your metering and data services will be made. It's key to note that at this moment in time, there's nothing that you have to do. Changes will be made behind the scenes uh, at this stage for sites that already have AMR um, smart or a half hourly meter. We, we're not anticipating that biz businesses will need to change their meters and it will be the energy supplier who will be initiating the migration. One of the changes you will see is that the familiar services that are known to you at the moment, data collector, data ag aggregator, meter operator, there's, those are going to be renamed. So, for example, the data collector will be known as the advanced data services. We will keep you informed with news and key dates. As I've mentioned, uh, the programme is a work in progress. So when we know more, we'll inform our, for our customers. Your journey will depend on the type of service you have with us. There's a lot of variables, for example, the type of metering you have. It's also going to depend on whether you, both your energy supply and metering and data services are with the same provider or if they're separate. So once we know more, we'll be in touch with, with you about this. OK, moving on. Um, what are the key industry dates? So uh, this is an Ofgem initiative and they've appointed Alexon to set up and manage the program to deliver the changes. Uh, there are many key industry players involved to ensure it's delivered on time. Uh, however, it's a significant change for, for industry participants and there are lots of moving parts at the moment with the aim of opening the door to the for future in innovation and support for our net zero goals. Uh, it's worth mentioning that the timings of the programme itself are determined by the market wide half hourly programme. Um, and not by energy suppliers or data and metering agents. Uh, and all key participants like us need to be aligned to those key milestones. But in terms of the next steps, um, we're aiming to start migrating customers in April 2025. Um, we don't know th um, that for definite yet. We will be providing metering services for the advanced market segment. This means we will provide the data collection and meter operator services, which will be known as ADS, Advanced Data Services, and MSA, Metering Services Advanced. Um, we have work to do to complete qualification to continue to operate as a supplier in the market. Um, this, this is going to begin for us later in the year.